In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom cube map or envy map in SFM. And last time I showed how to just apply a custom cube map, but this time I'm gonna show how to make your own. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it is kinda like a texture on top of your model or something. If you've looked at like any Splatoon poster, you've probably seen like some reflections in the eyes or the hair or anything. But in this video, I'm gonna show how to make your own cube map, and specifically one that will match the environment you're in, so the reflection or fake reflection will be pretty accurate, I'd say. So to show this, I'm gonna open up an old poster. So right now, this poster doesn't have a custom cube map on top of, uh, I don't think anywhere. So let's add one. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the eyes and the hair. Uh, what we're gonna do is take a scan of the whole scene here and apply that to the hair and such. So before doing anything, make sure you save because something is gonna come up soon. So take your camera and put it inside the model. Uh... So, like this, and you preferably want to have a quite high FOV, so we can increase it a little bit. I think here should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine, I guess. And then we're gonna disable our little Tanisha model here, because, well, we don't want to get her in the way. There we go. So now we probably also want to make sure the sky dome looks good, because right now, yeah, you can see it's clipping, and uh, we, we don't want that in our reflection, so I'm gonna decrease its size a little bit, so that doesn't happen. That should be fine. I mean, it's only our reflection, so it's not that precise. So now we have the camera inside the model, the model disabled, so now we need to open up the console, and if you don't have it right here, you should be able to find it up here in Windows, and here console. And now we have to type in a command, and it is light probe, then which name you want to name it. I'm just gonna name it Tanisha bike, <laughs> so I can remember like which one it is, like oh, Tanisha beside a bike. Uh, and then 512, and then enter, then wait a bit. And then you'll see it created a couple files in uh, this path. So now since we have that created, we can go back to animation set editor. Actually, we can't because after running the command, uh, the viewport will freeze and the only way to fix it is to restart SFM. It is SFM being SFM. And now we're back here again. And if you saved before doing anything, you should have gone back to where you were before even starting making the envy map. So that means you don't even have to put back the camera where it was before and such. So now we have the cube map created and it's time to actually apply it. So I'm gonna show it on a separate model. So ink linger. I don't know, let, let's give her the same hairstyle as Tanisha there. <laughs> so here we have Tanisha 2. Yeah, Tanisha 2. <laughs> so right click, add override materials, right click again, show an element viewer, model, then go to materials. Then you will see right here, M team color hair for TCL. So expand it, right click, add attribute, string, and type in envy map. And then we're gonna type in light probes backslash Tanisha bike underscore HDR. So far nothing has happened, which is fine. Some models won't work right away, so we need to do more. What we need to do is add another attribute, so right click, add attribute, float, and type in env map tint. We can start with typing in one. And there you go, now you can see it's super reflective, and probably too reflective depending on what you like, but yeah, I would say it's a bit too reflective at this point, so I'm gonna put it at 0.3 perhaps. Yeah, that is much better. Now the hair is very reflective and uh, nice looking, so let's do the same for the eyebrows and uh, the, the eyes as well. So with the eyebrows, just go to M Team Color Brow, do the same process, add attribute, string, dollar sign, envy map. We can just copy and paste this. And you can see it already worked. But if you want to boost the intensity of it, you can add float again. Envy map tint. And boost it up if you want to. So maybe I want to match it. So 0.3. There we go. For the eyes, it's going to be a little bit different. So, once again, attribute, uh, string, dollar sign, env map, once again, just paste it in, and this time it worked right out of the box, so that's great. But if you maybe want to increase or decrease the intensity, you'll still have to add float, 
but you will type in dollar sign glossiness instead. Did I type that correctly? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, uh, so one is, you know, I think default, I don't know. Then you can like put in 0.4, I guess. And then you can see it's less intense. And then we can do the same for the other eyebrow, or <laughs> not eyebrow, uh, eye. <laughs> so string, dollar sign, envy map, paste it in. Once again, attribute, float, glossiness, and 0.4. And that is looking pretty good. It makes the model just better looking and more fitting with the scene. Since it has accurate reflections, you can you can see the road in her eyes. So, looking pretty good. So, keep in mind, this works very well with the Inkling models. But you are gonna run into some models that simply doesn't work at all. I've tried my best and some just never want to work. So if you find something that doesn't work, it either could be that you're doing it wrong or simply that the model is the problem. So make sure you go through everything and, and make sure you're doing it correctly. But with these models, you know, the Enhanced V2, these should work fine. And from what I know, the old ones too. You can see in this scene as an example that I put these reflections or envy map on not only Tanisha right here in, you know, her eyes and the hair, but also on this railing right here. You can see it's very glossy, which, hey, I think it looks really good. It made it go from quite bland looking to, now I'd say, quite nice. As you saw, it's not that hard. You only have to put the camera inside of the model, disable the model, type out a little command in the console, and then just go back to how your scene was before. And then you can apply your envy map wherever you want. So I hope this was helpful. And if you need more help with SFM, check out my tutorial playlist where I have many tutorials on how to use SFM and do certain things. And I don't have anything else to say. So thanks so much for watching and bye!